7.6 solve exponential and logarithmic equations. Well, I've literally got nothing for you on this comment today. The property of equality for exponential equations is just extremely obvious. Uh, if b to the x equals b to the y, then x is equal to y, right? Same basis, then the exponents must be equal to one another. Genius level stuff here. So we want to apply that um, the problem is that our bases aren't equivalent. They're not equivalent yet. We can make them equivalent, right? Because 1 9th is also known as 3 to the negative 2 power. So we do 3 to the negative 2 power is 1 9th, and we do it to the x plus 3. So we say 3 to the x is equal to 3 to the negative 2 to the x plus 3. Remember when we have a power to a power, we multiply the exponents, so we have negative 2x minus 6. Well, now we happily have the same basis, so we can say x is equal to negative 2x minus 6. Let's scoot this 2x over here and get 3x is equal to negative 6. In other words, x is equal to negative 2. You can go ahead and check that. 3 to the negative 2 is equal to 1 9th and then 1 9th to the negative 2 plus 3 is just 1 9th to the first power, or 1 9th, and so it works. In this problem here, I really can't get the same basis. Um, 35 is not 9 to any power, it's not 3 to any power, and so what I'm going to do, and this is what logarithms are for, is I want to just get x here. Well, let me rewrite the problem. I'm purposely putting some space here. And now, if I took the log base 9 of this side, I would just get x out, wouldn't I? But since I did it to the left, I must also do it to the right. And so we have x equals log base 9 of 35. This is not something we can do in our head. We couldn't ask ourselves 9 to the what power is 35 in the first place. So we're going to need to use our calculator. We will do log of 35 over log of 9. If you're an ln person, you could have done ln 35 over ln 9 on your calculator, whichever one you please, and you should get 1.618. We know that answer makes sense because 9 to the first is 9 and 9 squared is 81 and 35 is somewhere between 9 and 81, so 1.618 makes sense. The property of equality for logarithmic equations is also extremely obvious if log base b, and I forgot my x here, if log base b of x equals log base b of y, well then we know that x must equal y. So let's try it out. If we have log base 4 of something equals log base 4 of something else, then something has got to be equal to something else. Solve it, let's scoot the 2x over here, we get 4x, scoot the 12 over here, we get 20, we have x is equal to 5. You could go ahead and put it in and it would work. We do, when we do logarithms, we want to make sure that whatever we're taking the logarithm of is greater than 0 because remember from our last lesson we had our domain restriction there. Let's do log base 7 of 3x minus 2 equals 2. Well, this is just saying 7 squared, 7 to the second power, is equal to 3x minus 2, right? To get rid of a log base 7, you just do both sides. 7 to the log base 7 is just 3x minus 2. And 49 is equal to 3x minus 2. Add 2 to both sides. 51 is equal to 3x. In other words, x equals 17. When you put a 17 in here, this is a positive number, and so we are not worried one bit. In this problem here, I'm going to use what we learned in the last section. When I have log base 6 of something plus log base 6 of something else, I can multiply those two things because I have the same bases. So I'm going to just condense the left side right now, like what we were doing in the last lesson equals 2. So I have log base 6 of 3x squared minus 12x is equal to 2. 
In other words, 6 squared is equal to 3x squared minus 12x. Isn't that what logarithms mean? 6 squared is equal to that. So we have 36 equals 3x squared minus 12x. Let's bring everything to one side. 3x squared minus 12x minus 36 is equal to 0. Let's always, always, always try and simplify before we try and factor this. So we can take out a 3. Let's do it. x squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. Never forget to simplify first if you can. So we have an x and an x. We have a 6 and a 2. We have a minus and a plus. So we have x equals 6 or x equals negative 2. Now let's make sure that these both work. Right off the bat, I see that when I put in a negative 2, I would get log base 6 of a negative number. And we cannot do the log of a negative number. So right now I've eliminated one answer as being extraneous, and let's see if the other one works. Log base 6 of 18 plus log base 6 of 2. Well, that would be log base 6 of 18 times 2. In other words, log base 6 of 36. And log base 6 of 36, well, 6 squared is 36. So that would be 2. And that is the right answer. So x equals 6. Finally, the population can be modeled by this equation right here, where t is a time in years from present. In how many years would the deer population reach 500? So when will the population reach 500? We want to solve for t. 50 plus 200 ln t plus 1. We always want to isolate this first. So let's subtract 50 from both sides. Again, isolate the ln before you do anything. So let's divide both sides by 200. So we have 2.25 is equal to ln of t plus 1. Now to get rid of the ln, let's just raise both sides to e. So we get that t plus 1 is equal to e to the 2.25. So I'm going to just move over here. So I know that t is equal to e to the 2.25 minus 1. If you want to go ahead and put that in the calculator, you should get about 8.5 years. And that's your answer. And that's it for this lesson. Bye.